Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to determine the value of warrants. SLM company has two options. Either to issue a 9% 20 year straight to coupon bond that would be sold for $1,000, so at par, or to issue a package consisting of a 7% 20 year bonds plus 20 warrants. The bonds would be sold for $1,000. Determine the value of the warrant. Let's see these timelines. In the first option, the investor would pay at period zero the par value, which is the $1,000, and he would receive the coupon payment, which is the $90 every year until maturity, so until year 20. At maturity, he would receive the $90 plus the par value, which is the $1,000. However, in the second option, he would pay the $1,000 and he would receive the $70 coupon payment until maturity. At maturity, he would receive the $70 plus the par value. In order to encourage investors to choose the option number two and not the option number one, the company must give them the warrants. So what is the value of these warrants? We know that the package price, so bonds plus warrants, is equal to $1,000. So the price for bonds and warrants is $1,000. This value is equal to the value of the straight debt plus the value of the warrants. So in order to determine the value of the warrants, we need to determine the value of the straight debt bond. The bond that has a 7% coupon payment and 20 years to maturity. So first of all, the first step is to determine the value of the straight bond. We know from previous courses that the value of a straight bond is equal to the coupon payment times 1 minus 1 plus i. The i here is the yield to maturity to the power minus n, where the n is the number of years to maturity over i, plus the power value over 1 plus i to the power n. So for the 7% coupon bond, the value is $70 because it's 7% coupon bond times 1 minus 1 plus i or the yield to maturity. The yield to maturity here is the 9% that of the first option because the first option is traded at par and it's a straight uh, bond so its yield to maturity is equal to its coupon payment so the yield to maturity for all bonds should be equal to 9% so to the power minus 20 20 years to maturity over 0 0.09 plus the hundred uh, the one thousand dollars over one plus 0 0.09 to the power 20 so the value of the straight bond is eight seventeen point forty two dollars so in this case the second step is to determine the value of the warrants so one thousand dollars it's equal to eight seventeen point forty two plus the value of the warrants so the value of the warrants is equal to one eighty two point fifty eight so this is the value of the twenty warrants the value of, the of one warrant is the value of the 20 warrants divided by the 20 warrants, so it's equal to $9.129.